Hi, Sheila here. I'm going to talk a little bit about rheumatoid arthritis. So I was watching a comedian last night called Stuart Francis, and he did a load of one-liners, and one of them was about rheumatoid arthritis, and it goes like this. My rheumatoid arthritis doesn't get in the way of me having a... Oh! I thought that was really funny because, you know, in the joints, and you're doing the exclamation marks so we couldn't do it. So, it's not funny though if you're suffering from inflammation in the joints or rheumatoid arthritis. And when we don't have anything wrong with our joints and we don't have any kind of arthritis going on, we take for granted these simple things like this, or being able to bend your elbow without being in pain, or living without wrist pain, being able to get up from a seated position without having to fight with your knees. We take these things for granted when they're not happening to us. But when they do happen, it's like you finally realize, oh my God, I've been taking for granted all the little things that I should have been grateful for before I had a flare up. Because even this action may be torture or impossible for someone who's having a flare up at this minute in time. So if you suffer from any kind of arthritis, whether it's osteo or rheumatoid, uh, then visit to a kinesiologist can definitely help. Here's a few little tips you can implement immediately. So first of all, I would recommend uh, an anti-inflammatory diet. So lots of things like chilies, garlic, ginger, antioxidants like blueberries and some herbs as well can help to uh, reduce inflammation in the body. Removing inflammatory foods is probably your best port of call to start this whole uh, reducing inflammation journey that you should be going on if you can't even do this or you're having elbow pain or wrist pain. Uh, inflammatory foods include cakes, buns, crisps, biscuits, beer, alcohol, fried foods, uh, overly processed foods, anything with uh, like MSM, pizzas, all of those kind of takeaway things. You really want to be going clean, go as clean as possible. Vegetables, plenty of them, nuts, seeds, lean meat, occasionally, fish is good, oily fish is good. Uh, you can snack on salads and crudities, things like that. And you want to be avoiding the inflammatory stuff like the cakes and buns and biscuits and beer and takeaways. That's a good place to start. And then you can help your body to rebuild rebuild uh, with some NAC or some zinc and vitamin C together to repair the gut. Drink plenty of water, avoid tea and coffee. Caffeine is very, very uh, inflammatory. So if you're a person who drinks like five cups of coffee or tea per day, you really want to be drinking one of these 500 mils water, plain water, not fizzy, for every coffee you drink just to eliminate that caffeine from your system. So that's what I got for now for you. If you want to come for a treatment and we can delve deeper into your uh, inflammatory responses and fix that for you so you can do this as easily as me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.